Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Matthew with the Pentagraphics channel and today we're gonna to be doing yet another home gym tour video. So if this sounds interesting to you, you're not gonna to wanna to go anywhere. As always, if you're new to the channel, welcome, glad to have you. Consider subscribing if you like this kind of content because I plan on releasing videos just like this about every week, week and a half tops. Now the reason I say we're gonna be doing yet another home gym video is because I've already done a video like this recently, like two months ago. So if you haven't seen that video, you may wanna watch it first as this video is gonna be covering the new additions that I've made to the home gym. So with all that being said, let's get started with the video. Beginning with a rag, I'd say probably the coolest and definitely most expensive upgrade I've made is the addition of the Rogue Lever Arms or the LT150 Cal uh, Trolley Arm and Lever Kit, I think is what they call it. Rogue LT150 Cal Trolley and Lever. I was right. Who know? I'm going to be honest with y'all guys. I was on the fence about getting these things just because they're so expensive. I mean, essentially, the money that you're going to spend on these arms, you could buy yourself a whole nother rack or even a couple of racks, depending on how much you spend on a rack. That being said, I'm very glad that I purchased these lever arms. As far as all the movements you can do, uh, the functionality, the versatility they provide, to me, the cost is worth what all you can do with these arms. Now, I do plan on doing a more in-depth review of the lever arms, but for now, I'm just going to say that I purchased the shorter version as opposed to the longer, and that's mainly because I wanted to utilize my flip-down safeties inside the rack while I'm using them. Now, speaking of the safeties, I actually now have the flip down safeties on my rack. I didn't get rid of my strap safeties and I still occasionally put them on, you know, when I feel like it. Uh, but and to me, it's just easier now to use these flip down safeties from Rogue especially since I've got the trolley arms. Now moving on, I'm actually using some new weight plates since the last video. I'm using the Rep Equalizer plates, the steel version. And uh, I gotta say, these things are fantastic. I mean, the build quality, the fit and finish, uh, the handle, I mean, everything about them, they're just awesome looking plates. Honestly, I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't buy more of them. I only bought three sets of 45s and three sets of 25s. Now, I wanted to get some more 45 pound plates, but since the rep equalizer plates were no longer in stock and aren't gonna be in stock for a while now, according to the websites, uh, I actually went with Rogue's cast iron plate, their cheapest cast iron plate, mind you. And uh, I gotta say, I'm pleasantly surprised with them. Mine showed up in great condition, well packaged. The coating that they put on is nice and smooth. It's even, uh, it's not globbed up, no pitting, anything like that. I bought four 45 pound plates. Two of them weigh exactly 45 pounds. The other two are 45.2 pounds which for as cheap as these plates are compared to other plates, I mean, how do you get any better than that? That's perfect. So I highly recommend if you're in the market for some weight plates, consider the Rogue cast iron plates. Now with all these new plates that I've recently added, I wanted something to store my older plates on. So I bought a Rogue weight tree. This thing, of course, like everything else Rogue makes, is an absolute beast. Uh, it's nice and heavy, thick gauge steel, very nice powder coating. Highly recommend it if you're in the mood, if you're in the mood, if you're in the market, for a weight tree. Consider Rogue. To keep this Rogue trend going, I ended up buying a nine bar holder from Rogue as well. And of course, with this being a Rogue product, the same story goes. It's overbuilt, it's very nice fit and finish. Uh, I mean, you're not gonna go wrong with Rogue. That being said, I have actually owned the Titan version one. And while yes, it does technically hold the bars up like it's supposed to, and I guess it is cheaper than the Rogue. In the end, it's not at all the same thing as a Rogue. It weighs substantially less. Cosmetically, it's just not as pretty. Not that that's, you know, maybe that's important to some of y'all, maybe it's not. Now, I'm not sure if I even showed it in my last video, but I actually do have a Rogue GHT, uh, the Abram 2.0, I think is what they call it and the uh, Rogue Echo Bike, and I actually upgraded to the bigger wheels on the Rogue Echo Bike, which I find them to be extremely helpful for rolling around the gym. Uh, and it's also got a handle, it came with a handle uh, for the back, just for easy maneuverability. Not that that was really an issue. I pretty much bought it because I wanted the bigger wheels. Plus, let's be honest, these big wheels, they look mean as all get out. And then lastly, I'd like to talk about a storage rack that I purchased from Home Depot, a Husky branded storage rack. I bought this storage rack mainly to keep accessories for my power rack on, uh, things such as my lap pull down seats, uh, which I've done a review on. So if you haven't already seen that video, you might wanna watch it. And then uh, actually a lap pull down bar that I just recently purchased, a multi-grip pull down bar, which I'm currently working on a review for. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, I also keep things like my battle rope on it, my wife's sandbag on it, the extra spotter arms, 
Uh, just pretty much anything that I just don't want lying in the floor, I put on the rack. And surprisingly, it's a very nice rack. I mean, each shelf supposedly holds up to 2,500 pounds. I don't know that I would ever really trust it to hold that, but that's what the uh, manufacturer says it will support. So, all right, fellas, that's all I've got for y'all now. I know this is a quick video, but I'm in between review videos. So I figured rather than y'all waiting another week or two, I might as well get something out just so y'all can be kind of, you know, enjoying it or whatever. But um, if there's anything that you saw in this video that you specifically want me to make a review video on, or maybe just answer a question, just comment down below. Please like this video if you did like the video of course and uh, if you're not already subscribed consider subscribing if you are subscribed again thank you all thank everyone that is subscribed to my channel i really appreciate it and uh follow me on instagram but until then y'all have a good day one final thing before i go a comment that i got on one of my videos that has really bothered me it says i like his accent goes great with his overall head what does that mean what does that mean it goes great with his overall head my accent. What does that mean? Till next time.